There it is. <clears throat> There's the sunrise. People have been asking me, Darren, why are you so geeked out and talking so much about the sunrise and sunset, sun gazing, looking directly at the sun for two to three to four minutes at sunrise and sunset? Think about it. For uh, hundreds of thousands of years, if not two, three million years, man has been waking up with no lights, no artificial light, waking up at sunrise because of natural cortisol, their hormone cycles worked fantastic. The caveman and cavewoman intelligence to self-heal. That was their alarm clock. They got up and they looked in the sky and they says, wow, and they stared at it. <clears throat> People are dying prematurely with this modern stress for a few reasons. One is inflammation, chronic inflammation. Number two is their hormones are screwed up. That caveman and cavewoman the God-gifted intelligence to self-heal and to have our hormones optimal to be young and vibrant in our 70s, 80s, and 90s is there. The sunrise in the morning, looking directly at the sun with the healing power of intention tells your body to create melatonin at night to sleep like a baby where your body can regenerate. The sunset at night tells your body to naturally bump up your cortisol in the morning to wake you up and then bring your cortisol back down so you don't have chronic cortisol high all day long. Your natural hormone cycles work optimally when you do the anti-aging hacks. Tips, sunrise and sunset sun gazing. The second one is fasting. When the body thinks it's gonna die, it self heals. And when you don't have food in your gut, the body heals. It brings down inflammation. It helps your brain. It helps everything. My other one is cold exposure. We'll talk about it at a later time. That's why you need to look at the sunrise and the sunset. Take your shoes off, put your feet in the wet grass, get an additional benefit called grounding. That's why I want you to watch the sunrise and the sunset. Do sun gazing, consider fasting the number one tool to age gracefully and not be on medications in your 60s, 70s, and 80s and live your life to true fulfillment. I love you. You'd have the power to change and make the rest of your life the best of your life. Look at that beautiful thing. Woo! And my mom is talking to me, my guardian angel out there. I love you.